Welcome back, fans, to the Vickers Tactical Show. We got a really cool segment for you today. Back in January of 2014, the crew and I flew out to Las Vegas for the 2014 SHOT Show. We got to check out booths like Geisley, Aimpoint, Blue Force Gear, Schmidt and & Bender, and h and And while we got to see some amazing stuff during the show, you know me, I could not help but get some trigger time while out in the Sin City. So we linked up at the crew over at Battlefield Vegas, a one-of-a-kind shooting range right there in the Neon Jungle. And so one of the Battlefield Humvees swung by, picked me up, and I was driven across town to meet up with Ron, the owner, at the range. Hey, Ron. Larry, how's it going? Good to see you, bro. Yeah, good to see you again, my man. A year ago. Yes, Finally sir. getting to do the show that uh, was once promised. Yeah, we're now here. How long has Battlefield Vegas been up and running? Uh, 15 months now. 15 months. We've grown exponentially since we were here last time. A few more guns and a few more headaches and heartaches, but we're here. On any given day, how many guns do you run out? We're running about, I'd say we're about 200 customers a day at the very least. Wow. Yeah. That is smoking. Number one most popular machine gun? Uzi. Uzi, really? Yeah, we've uh, AKs, Uzis, and M16s, but because of the movies, everybody wants to shoot an Uzi. No kidding. Yep, yep. Wow, I would have never guessed that. I would have guessed either an AK or an M4. You would think, trust me, but those Uzi mags are lined up all day long. Cool. You get a lot of belt-fed rentals? Oh, yeah. 240, 249, M60. 249 is probably the biggest belt-fed rental just because it's a lot easier to handle. Good deal. Now, when you started out, how many guns did you have for rent versus now? When we started out, we had a little over 100, and now we're about 350 now. Wow. Yeah. Well, you've really grown. Oh, yeah. we got a tank out there now. We've uh, got a half-track rolling since you've been here last. Good deal. Now, I understand. My crew did a little research and you got a couple of of ears with issues. We do. And that's where I was hoping maybe your expertise would come yeah, in handy I've here. I've been thinking about it and I, I might be able to shed some light on it. Maybe give you a suggestion on how to get them back up and running. Yes, sir. Cool. Yes, sir. It's, it's a classic weapon. It needs to get back up and running. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm all about the Sturmgewehr. Yes, I love sir. the gun. But at the same time, it was designed and developed and fielded in an era where, frankly, the guys used the gun were somewhat expendable and they weren't counting on using them at rental ranges, I'll tell you that. Yeah, no Russians here, so. Let's check them out, bro. Yes, sir, let's do it. Good deal. Come on back here. Watch your step coming in, Larry. Nice little pile, Ron. It's grown since the last time you were here. Mm-hmm. A little taste of everything from World War I all the way up to uh, what's being deployed overseas right now. Cool. We even got the pink AKs for the uh, bachelorette parties. Oh, yeah. You know, we have a bachelor come through, we tell him since this is going to be pushed around by a woman for the rest of his life, get used to it now, yeah. so we make him shoot the pink yeah, AK. Yeah, absolutely. Good call. Well, here's those uh, MP44s I was telling you about. This was the last run to run properly. What seems to be the issues? It won't fire some auto at all. And when we do put it in full auto, hand cycling it, you can usually get it to drop. See? It won't have a reset on it. And what we did was with this model here, we cannibalized this trigger pack initially mm -hmm. yeah. to get this one running. And we had it running for a while. It ran for about maybe 1,000 rounds, 1,500 rounds. Then it slowly just faded out. And we get so many customers that come in here that are history buffs. They want to get their hands on a real MP44. Well, this kind of goes back to a good friend of mine named John Miller. I don't know if you ever heard of him or not. He's in Marriott, Ohio, well known in the class three community. And he told me, you know, that really the weak link to these was the trigger mechanism. If you shoot them a lot, they break. And on his recommendation, when I bought mine, I got a spare trigger mechanism because of that. I don't shoot it anywhere near like you guys do, so I, I never hope to break parts. My recommendation is, and especially if you got somebody local, and if not, I maybe can give you some recommendations of people who could do it, is have the, the, tr the key trigger components replicated out of modern steel, modern heat treat, better materials, and they'll no doubt last a lot longer. Okay, I'll definitely take your advice because these are too valuable to sit here and collect dust. You're talking about the price of a, a good used car. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Ron, we talked about the Sturmgewehrs. Now, I know you got a few rare things in here. Probably some things that might trip my trigger. Do you got anything you want to show me? You know, we do have this weapon here. This is a, it says Brevet Bergman on it. Mm. Now, the history on this weapon we got was from a little old lady in Pahrump, Nevada, about 60 miles outside of town. Her husband captured it, Iwo Jima. No kidding. 
And that was a story that sat there, and she brought it to a gun show, didn't know what it was worth. And uh, it's been posted up, it was brought back to life. And, I see uh, the weld, yeah. Yes, sir. Was, you know, I want to restore it, bring it back to its you know, it, true history. We've had a, we had a Japanese guy come in here about three weeks ago, and he, his father was a, an Imperial soldier. And when he see this, you know, as he started tearing up, saying this is bringing happiness to my heart, something, something we can, you know, my father may have used during the war. This is a machine gun range, so we do have a lot of breakage in this place. Everything that's red taped is yeah, one reason or another. It needs repaired. Yep. A lot of people don't understand that. You know, these things have a service life, and when you have a machine gun rental range, you're going to wear them out. Well, last Saturday we did 30,000 rounds of 9 millimeter. Whoa. Yeah, it was it was a mess in there. You know, this is not military training. This is a once in a lifetime experience. Uh, they come from Australia, England, where it's almost illegal to think about a gun like this, yeah, let alone exactly, touch it. Let alone touch it. Truly, once in a lifetime. Yeah. So I let them, you know, have their fun, and they leave with big grins. All right, Ron. If you don't mind, let's head out to the range, and I want you to take me through the normal procedure that a customer would have coming here to Battlefield Vegas. So what I'll do then is let me grab one of my RSOs. Uh, Carlos, come up here. What we do is all our RSOs are either veterans or they're still actively in the Guard or the Reserves. Carlos here is in the Nevada Army National Guard. All right, all right Carlos. Let's, Let's go to the range. All right, Carlos, what's up first? First up, the BZ-61, or also known as the Scorpion, shoots a 32 auto, and it's got a selector as well. So you can shoot it on fully automatic or semi-automatic. Very smooth. It's got a little bit of kick. It's a little bit snappy, but it's not overwhelming at all. Cool. Let's light her up. All right, going hot. All right, Carlos, what's up next, bro? All right, so up next, we got the PM63, good old mackerel round, 9x18, open bolt, fully automatic. Cool. All right, let's do it. Fully automatic. Ready? Here we go. All right, Carlos, last up. M2 carbine. M2 carbine just came a little bit at the end of the Second World War. 30 cal, semi-automatic, and full auto as well feature. 30 round magazine and it's a very, very lightweight weapon. Cool. Well, Vickers Tactical fans, that's all we got for you here at Battlefield Vegas. Shout out to Ron and the crew for having us over here to check out the range. As always, Thanks for watching. This is Larry Vickers, out.